What if your sanity was questioned by the very institution meant to protect it? This unsettling question sets the stage for our exploration of Anton Chekhov's Ward Num 6. An illustrious figure in the realm of literature, Chekhov's storytelling prowess has gifted us with narratives that delve deep into the human condition, often through a lens that is as unique as it is profound. Ward Number 6, a short story penned more than a century ago, stands as a testament to Chekhov's ability to probe the mind's darkest corners. It offers us a perspective that is simultaneously chilling and thought-provoking, raising questions about sanity, society, and the very nature of our existence. So today we'll be unpacking this enigmatic tale, sifting through the layers of its narrative, and exploring the insights it offers. By the end we hope to have a deeper appreciation for Chekhov's craft and the lasting impact of his work. Let's delve into the mind of Chekhov and the haunting tale he weaves in Ward Num 6. Anton Chekhov, a name synonymous with deep psychological exploration in literature. Born in the small seaport of Taganrog, Russia, in the year 1860, Chekhov was the third of six children. His early life was marked by hardship, with his father's bankruptcy and subsequent escape to Moscow, leaving young Anton to fend for himself. This harsh reality of life, however, didn't deter Anton. Instead, it fueled his desire to study and succeed. He went on to study medicine at the first Moscow State Medical University. The experience he gained during his time as a medical student and later as a practicing physician deeply influenced his literary work. Chekhov's background in medicine provided him with an intimate knowledge of the human condition. He witnessed firsthand the struggles of the mind and the body, the despair of illness, and the thin line that separates sanity from insanity. This insight became a cornerstone of his writing, a stark and sometimes unsettling exploration of the human psyche. In Ward Number 6, we see this influence come to life. The story revolves around a mental asylum, a setting that reflects Chekhov's medical background. It delves into the world of the mentally ill, blurring the lines between the sane and the insane, challenging our perceptions of what it means to be normal. Chekhov's stories including Ward Number 6 are not mere tales. They are psychological studies, examinations of the human mind and its complexities. They reveal a world often hidden from view, a world that is as real as it is disturbing. His writing style, with its keen observations and attention to detail, further reflects his medical background. He treats his characters much like a doctor would treat his patients, with a discerning eye and a deep understanding. Chekhov's background in medicine and his fascination with the human psyche set the stage for the chilling tale of Ward No. 6, a mental institution, a disillusioned doctor, and a descent into madness. This is the unsettling world of Anton Chekhov's Ward No. 6, a world where the line between sanity and insanity becomes blurred, and the confines of a mental institution become a metaphor for the confines of the human condition. The story unfolds in a small town's hospital, specifically in its Ward No. 6, a neglected part of the institution housing the mentally ill, here we meet Dr. Andre Ragan, the institution's chief physician. Once a man of ambition and intellect, Ragan has succumbed to a bleak routine, neglecting his duties and finding solace in a world of philosophical contemplations. Among the patients of Ward No. 6 we discover Ivan Gromov, a man diagnosed with paranoia. Gromov's constant fear of persecution and his fervent discussions about injustice and human suffering resonate with Ragan. The doctor, disillusioned with his mundane existence, finds Gromov's insanity intriguing, even enlightening. As the story progresses, the relationship between Ragan and Gromov deepens. Their intellectual debates become the highlight of Ragan's days, leading him to question the very essence of sanity and freedom. But Chekhov weaves a cruel twist of irony into the plot. Ragan, once a guardian of the sane, finds himself declared insane and confined within the walls of Ward No. 6. In a bitter turn of events he becomes a patient in his own institution, subjected to the same brutal treatment he once overlooked. In this cruel twist of fate, the story exposes the harrowing reality of mental institutions and the societal attitudes towards mental illness. It lays bare the fragility of the human condition and the ease with which sanity can slip into madness. Chekhov's Ward Num 6 is not merely a tale of a doctor's descent into madness. It's a profound exploration of life's deepest dilemmas. It questions the very nature of freedom. Is it an external circumstance or a state of mind? Is the madman truly free because he is not bound by societal norms, or is he the most confined, trapped within the walls of his own mind? 
The story also delves into the paradox of the human condition, our desire for freedom, and our fear of it. It exposes the hypocrisy of society, where those who deviate from the norm are labeled as insane, and those who conform are considered sane, regardless of their inner turmoil. In the end, Ward number 6 leaves us with more questions than answers. Do we, like Roggen, find comfort in the confines of our own mental wards, or do we, like Gromov, yearn for a freedom that may never be attainable? In Ward number 6, Chekhov forces us to question our own perceptions of reality and sanity. Chekhov's writing in Ward No. 6 is a masterclass in psychological realism. The story is not merely a narrative, it is a journey into the depths of the human mind. Chekhov's writing style, characterized by its simplicity and precision, serves as a scalpel, dissecting the psyche of his characters and laying them bare for the reader. Let's delve into his technique. Chekhov crafts an unsettling narrative through his use of symbolism. The mental institution for instance is not just a physical space, it is a symbol. It represents the confines of societal norms and expectations, a prison for those who dare to think differently. The ward with its barred windows and locked doors is a stark embodiment of the constraints imposed on the human spirit. Chekhov's characters too are more than mere characters. They are representations of different facets of humanity. Dr. Roggen, the disillusioned psychiatrist, symbolizes the intellectual class, trapped in their own cycle of overthinking and inaction. The patients, on the other hand, represent the marginalized, the castaways of society, their voices silenced, and their existence forgotten. The author's use of psychological realism is another key aspect of his writing style. Chekhov delves deep into the psyche of his characters exploring their fears, desires, and their struggle with sanity. He presents a raw, unfiltered view of the human mind, one that is both fascinating and terrifying. The conversations between Dr. Roggen and the patient Ivan Dimitrik, for example, are not just dialogues, they are complex verbal duels, a battle of wits and ideologies. Moreover, the narrative is a vivid portrayal of life inside a mental institution, complete with its monotony, despair, and occasional sparks of humanity. Chekhov's skillful use of descriptive language paints a stark picture that lingers in the reader's mind long after the story is over. Chekhov's Wardna 6 is a chilling exploration of the human mind, wrapped in a deceptively simple narrative. It serves as a mirror, reflecting our own fears, biases, and the fine line that separates sanity from madness. The line between sanity and insanity is often blurred, and Chekhov's Ward No. 6 is a stark reminder of that. As we journey back through our exploration of this intense narrative, we remember the profound influences that shaped Chekhov's writing. His own experiences as a physician and his keen understanding of the human condition are echoed in the depth and complexity of his characters. The plot of Ward No. 6 itself with its intricate weave of despair and hope, of insanity and reason, is a mirror held up to society. It highlights the flaws and fallacies of our mental health systems, the prejudices we harbor, and the arbitrary nature of what we deem normal. Dr. Roggen, a character once at the helm of the asylum, finds himself a patient, challenging our preconceived notions of sanity. Our literary analysis further unveiled the genius of Chekhov's storytelling. His use of irony, the masterful development of characters, and his knack for portraying the mundane in extraordinary ways, all contribute to the lasting impact of Ward No. 6. The story, though set in a specific time and place, transcends boundaries, resonating with readers across generations. Chekhov's contribution to literature is immeasurable. He has not only given us unforgettable stories but also unique insights into the human psyche. His stories urge us to question, to empathize, and to reflect. Ward No. 6, in particular, compels us to reconsider our definitions of sanity, of freedom, and of life itself. The power of Ward No. 6 lies in its ability to unsettle us, to make us uncomfortable, it doesn't provide easy answers or neat resolutions. Instead, it invites us to delve into the chaos, to grapple with the ambiguity, and to find our own understanding amidst the madness. In the end, Ward No. 6 leaves us with more questions than answers, a testament to Chekhov's ability to provoke thought and challenge our perceptions. Mm -hmm.